Good day to you. <clears throat> I'm in my car with my cigar. And I'm, I've been doing this all week. This is DBL. It's a Francisco Almonte cigar. They say he's a new person on the scene. I've seen these cigars before. And I gotta say, off top, you know, I had some problems with it initially. And sometimes when you dislike a cigar, it's directly connected to, well, of course, your palate is involved, but your taste buds are involved as well. And what happens is when you have, don't have enough food on your stomach or different things like that, it can have an effect. <clears throat> the best way, the, the best time to enjoy a cigar is on a full, tight belly. Go figure. I want to talk to you about something that's on my mind. You know, we always talk about doing your own business, and we've been talking about the un entrepreneurial growth spurt. My partner and I, you know, we made the decision to start a company a little while back, and we experienced a few hiccups. But nothing would, and nothing will derail us. And I know you're trying to do some things. At least I hope you are. I want you to believe in the possibility. To, I think Les Brown says it best. He said, is it at least possible? You know, once you get over that idea that it's possible, then you can begin to lay the groundwork for bringing things to pass and creating your own luck. I'm going to tell you about a mistake I made when I started out. I involved a lot of people in what it is that I, I was doing. <clears throat> and, I, and I try to explain to people that involving people you know, some people say, say it, say it over and over again, tell everybody, and the first person that jumps or whatever, nobody's going to really do it because people don't really listen. Then there's another philosophy that says, tell everybody because what when you, when you release it out into the atmosphere, as a result, it's forced to come to you, and you, you, now you have to go to work and make it, pos make it possible. And then there's another school that says, don't say anything to anybody, keep it to yourself make it happen and then prove in the possibility. Whichever school you choose, understand one fact. You're not going to muscle the universe. You're not going to bully God. You're not going to make the happily ever after take place before the once upon a time. The challenge is real. The struggle is very interesting and very mean. The idea of being kicked while you're knocked down, <laughs> that, that happens. And the struggle, the continued struggle to remind yourself that this is what you're supposed to be doing. I made the mistake of attempting to help destiny. <laughs> Not only help destiny, I really wanted to connect some friends and some family to the vision in order that when things begin to take place, they could be legitimate benefactors to what's happening. Hey, I was there. I believed in you. Not saying the words, but they may be entitled to a return. So I connected 10 people. Four of them said, oh, I got you. I'm there. Let me know. 100, 100. Won't say family or friend. 
when that situation proved futile, when that situation fizzled out, that is, when I made the connection, when I looked for the connections and didn't see them, and it's like, where are you, you know? Um, I even tagged you in some of the videos and tagged you in some of the quotes and most of them that do talk with me talk intermittently, but they talk off the mic and what I refer to that as talk through messenger or talk in the background. It was a very unfortunate thing only because I believed that it was something that I needed to do to promote myself and in the promoting process didn't realize that I can't usurp the process and call it progress. This is Arnold Tate, Arnold Mr. Dad Tate, in my car with my cigar. I'm enjoying this little sucker. This is a shorter version. They have longer version. This is like a nub version. So try it and make it a great day. Like this video, share this video, like and share. Thank you. Bye now.